So this was an amazing question by Brandon Miller. Brandon Miller is one of the top draft prospects. I believe he played out of Alabama. So he was asked this today and is going viral. What is your all thoughts about it? So let's first listen to what he had to say. You said you were in black and red at the draft, right? Jordan wore black and red as a member of the Bulls. Here's my question unrelated to that. You're young. Older people, young people often have this LeBron and Michael conversation. I'm not going to ask you who's the greatest because that's old. But because you've been in Michael's presence and because you grew up liking LeBron, as a young person, do you feel like that conversation is just overdone? No, because I, I actually don't uh, think LeBron is, you know, the go to basketball. I think my go to basketball is Paul George. And, you know, I always grew up watching him, so it's never just LeBron. That's it. So he said, sorry, sorry somebody caught me. He said, I don't think LeBron James is my GOAT. I grew up watching Paul George. <laughs> now, people are going to go crazy on him, but you have to first understand what is people's expectations of their GOAT, who's their favorite player. So my thing is, who is the GOAT? Jordan is the GOAT. Who is my GOAT? My GOAT is Kobe. So even though if he probably asked who's the best player to ever play the game, he probably would have said Michael Jordan or he probably would have said LeBron. But off of his personal favorite, it's Paul George. Because I don't know, he could have grew up in whatever the same city. He probably could have sat an autograph for him, could have followed him for a while. I, you know, I, I never thought I would have heard that one today. But I love that he said something completely different besides what everybody would have wanted him to say. It's like, bro, no, Paul George is mine. Let's see what else he had to say. When you talk with Michael, what is something, was that when you went through your draft process, was that the first time you met him? Most definitely. That's my first time I've ever seeing him in person. Um, it's definitely exciting. You know, he's Michael Jordan. So. That's funny because most people never see Michael Jordan in person. Let me know if any of y'all ever seen Michael Jordan in person outside of a basketball game. Like, he's like a person we just don't really get to see. Uh, yeah, he jump on the free throw line, the shoes that we wear all the time. Yeah. It's kind of exciting to meet him. What is something that you took away from that as far as just meeting him that, like, some people say, wow, like, he chews gum like this. Like, what is something random that you, you picked up from him that, that you just will stick with you forever? Other than I seen him airball that free throw, yeah, that would be the only thing. I seen him airball three. That's it. So, my man seemed cocky, arrogant. Hope he good, because I haven't seen him play at all. I barely know the brother, but I don't watch college football basketball besides Michigan. Let's go to the comments. Oh, boy. Brandon Miller had his own opinion. That's what's up, Paul. Paul George was raw. Like, yeah, Indiana days, PG-13 was wild, dog. He's still walking. He's still walking bucket. Like, Paul George is really cold. It just... <laughs> Uh, my mother said don't slap himself in public. So his draft stock should plummet for this. It was never that deep. A lot of these players need to know the difference between their favorite and the GOAT. See, that's the difference. It's it's more of that's his favorite. People, <laughs> y'all know the Brown fans is going crazy. What's y'all thoughts in the comments? Who is, let me know in the comments, who is the greatest of all time and in your opinion and who is your personal favorite player? Let me know in the comments.